What's going on guys? Welcome back to Miniature Mayhem. My name's Chris and this is where I do all of my painting. I've got a little bit of a different video for you today. If you've been watching any of my other videos, you'll know that I've been pretty much back to back been painting the Curse City box set for absolutely ages now with a few little things thrown in there. But with the bank holiday fast approaching and me actually having the entire day to myself, I thought it'd be a really great time to start working on my backlog. So I've got some friends coming over and we're going to absolutely smash it out today and I'm going to time lapse some of the process and uh, yeah just show you how I crack on with absolutely bulk projects rather than just uh, these little individual character pieces. So if that's something you're interested in, let's get into it. Now, I should say something before we start. I'm one of these weird hobbyists who actually doesn't have a backlog. I buy things, I paint them and then I buy more things. And I know that makes me a strange person, but that's just how I roll. So when I refer to the Dominion box as uh, having a large backlog, that kind of is all, all I've got sitting there in the shelf. I feel good about that. Some people like to have a mountain of plastic crack to work on. I just can't deal with having that amount of pressure. <laughs> you notice here I'm just putting together some flayed ones as well. I do have a box of five of those sitting there too. I'm not sure when this video will actually be coming out, but as of time of recording, this is actually the end of August bank holiday, the night before at least. I'm just mounting everything up ready for spray painting in the morning or airbrushing in the morning. I've got some corks which I just got off of eBay. I've got some of these Citadel mounts which I'm not a massive fan of to be honest. And I'm also just using some cut up strips of cardboard from some Amazon packages I had lying around. I want to get all my airbrushing done before my friend turns up in the morning so I don't gas him out and we don't have to both sit there in gas masks. So I'm doing as much as I can the night before so I can get on with it as soon as I can in the morning. It's now the morning with everything mounted up. I've got all my colors chosen out and uh, here's my collection of stuff that I need to work through. Even though I do wear a spray mask, I like to set up by the back door just to make sure as much of the fumes and stuff are going outside as I can. I've also set up an ultrasonic cleaner to the side because I can guarantee you I'm gonna to need to break down this airbrush at least two or three times to get through this project. First thing I'm going to do is go through everything and give it a coat of black primer. I use Vallejo's primers, uh, the polyurethane versions. I find they give really nice coverage and it's also very thin. Make sure you've got really good ventilation when you're using this stuff as polyurethane is really bad for you. I know this might look a little bit OCD, but as I'm working on multiple projects that require different base coats, I'm just splitting them up into the groups that I need to paint them in. Just to make sure I don't miss one, I have to completely reload the airbrush and clean it out just to go back and paint one model. When I am using the airbrush to base coat multiple projects, I like to start with the lightest colours, work my way back to the darkest and then finish off with the metallics. This helps just, just prevent any cross contamination between the different base coats. I made sure to blast the nozzle through quite a few times with clean water as I was doing lots and lots of painting and I didn't want it to get clogged up. So I could crack on with painting the Necrons as soon as I'd finished airbrushing, I decided to apply the washes to the Necrons before switching back to the airbrush and applying the base coats to the Stormcast Eternals. to let you know a little bit more about the channel and what we're going to be doing there is plans for us to do battle reports and also for us to do army showcases but currently we just don't have what i would say is good enough technology and equipment to justify doing it because we don't want to come in there's so many big fish out there that are doing such an amazing job with battle reports and i don't want the videos to be dreadful 
Some of the one, the first one we did obviously is, is really not very good. And from that, I've learned a lot. And I'm planning to take that, the things that I've learned from that forwards and hopefully produce some really good quality battle reports. I've learned a lot more about editing since I started. I only started learning that at the beginning of this year. And I really hope that I can make our battle reports stand out from some different ones. As you can see, we've got lots of Age of Sigma stuff behind me, but the shelves down below are actually 40K. And the plan is to do battle reports for both systems. Um, I don't think we'll be venturing into other game types. Not originally, we may do some Cursed City ones once this box set is finished. But the majority of our games are going to be Age of Sigma and 40K related. Once I believe that we can do them justice, we will start uploading those on a regular basis. The plan is also to upload army showcases that the friends that I play with on a regular basis have some fantastic looking armies and I really want to get some interviews in with them to talk about how they painted them, how they come up with the scheme, how they come up with the ideas and to showcase just the models and some of the fantastic paint jobs they've done. Back to the painting action now. With the second layer of paint drying on the Necrons, I've gone back to base coating the Stormcast, this time with a nice teal colour. My favourite colour, Sotek Green. My friend Will turned up with literally perfect timing just as I finished airbrushing, so I picked out my first unit, which in this case was the Flayers, and started ticking them off. With the flares now done, I've managed to tick off the first project. I was really happy with this, at least it meant I'd achieve something today. <laughs> if you've never done a hobby hangout with friends before, it's a really great way of getting projects ticked off, as it's less distraction. You're not worried about Netflix and YouTube. You just sit on and get on with it. For the Stormcast Eternals, I like to do some really light shading. So I use Coelia Green Shade, mixed with some Lamy Medium and a little bit of Flow Aid, and this just stops it from settling on any of the raised areas, gets it all nicely in the recesses, and gives some really simple and effective shading to the army. And at this point Will would manage to do all of the stuff that he needed to do, so once he'd gone home I took all my stuff upstairs and carried on. Got all the Stormcast up to this point which I was really happy with, as it now means going forward I can pick certain projects out that I can do videos on. Obviously I won't be doing 15 different videos all detailing the same Stormcast Eternal scheme, so I'm going to be picking out certain things like how to paint different skin tones, how to paint certain armour parts, possibly, you know, like the wings or something that not everyone's got, like well, there's one of the guys that's got a nice eagle on his shoulders. So I'll pick out cool projects and see where we go. Also just wanted to say a massive thank you to everyone who's watched all my videos so far and liked and subscribed and left me a comment. I get so many nice comments and it really is rewarding for me and just makes me want to continue doing it. And I just wanted to let you know how much I appreciate it. I really can't say it any more than that. So there you go, one full day of hobby completed and I was really happy with the progress that I made. I'm set up in a really good position now for future projects and a little bit of my backlog is wiped out, which is always a good thing, especially for your headspace. As always, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.